Hi everybody. Um, so a little while ago, uh, I saw a video by Julian Lett on his YouTube channel where he uh, reviewed this uh, nifty little charger, this SC608 charger, which, uh, which seems to be rather popular at the moment. It looked really good and um, looks like it's well built and uh, has a very decent interface as well. So while I was, uh, I thought I got one of these for myself to play around with and uh, as I was fiddling around it, uh, it became apparent that this thing was upgradable. So it has this, not sure if you can see this, but it has a firmware share and uh, if you go into the OS info, it says that the OS version is um, 2.0.3.89. So evidently this thing is um, uh, firmware upgradable. And um, this hole here is, is how you do it. So, you know, digging around your website, it turns out that you actually need a special um, adapter, probably some sort of serial to USB adapter with a, with a special sort of cable. This is a 3.5 mm jack, but it has um, many connectors on it. So I thought I'd get one of those as well. And that uh, came in today. So, you know, this adapter, I probably need to get a knife for this. Okay, let's we'll get this more quickly done without destroying it. Okay. Oh, wow. The cable was there. Okay, that's the cable, right? So you, you can see the uh, cable here. Right, so it comes with this little USB connector rather nice not sure you can see it but it does look good so this goes in here and that goes in the computer you go to the website and download the firmware you plug in like so and you upgrade it so I thought I'd make a video uh, of this whole process here okay so let's see where we go with the uh, software now Okay, first of all, we're going to try and get this uh, plugged into the uh, laptop, but I thought I'd just uh, look at the uh, Banggood um, page where I got this um, order in. So when I got it about, I think about two months ago, that's when I bought it, it was around about 40 US dollars. But when I checked it today, the price had gone up to 51 US dollars. So that's um, that's surprising. So free market principles at work in Banggood. Okay. Anyway, we're going to um, we're going to close this and uh, we're going to take a look at what happens when we stick this into the USB slot over here. Something that you can't do on a Mac because you know they only have the USB. Okay, you get the notification, but. That seems to be about it. Okay. Alright, nothing much going on here. So let's try connecting this to that. Uh, do I need do I need to uh let's see, do I need to go to firmware share? Let's try that. This is connecting. Okay, upgrade fuel. Okay, I'm not sure about this, but I think we'll come back to this in a second. So we go to the um, web page isdt.co and that's where I download the thing. I done this earlier, so so I can just open up the file. Um, let's see, this is the file, right? And uh, when you open that file, it has a firmware folder. In that firmware folder, there is release notes. So I'm gonna take a look real quick at that. So according to this one, we are currently at sub version number 89 okay so the latest one is 97 so we see that they have added uh, some features uh, some language features some ID generation um, algorithm okay that was previous so we got French and German support improved fault protection and self recovery algorithm um, ability to modify the lowest input voltage to 27 volts and um, some fan control algorithm 
changes the knob, the sound. What happens when you when you do this? This sound, I think, is changing that, and uh, some other initialization code, I believe. Okay, so let's see what happens if I run the software. But first of all, I probably have to extract this somewhere. Let's try and yeah, I'll probably have to extract this whole thing somewhere. Let's extract. Okay, well, actually, I don't have to. Let me just run the uh, extract all. Extract. Okay, it's done. All right. Is this the extracted file? Okay, let's try running it now and see what happens. Um, okay, so I get the um, what appears to be the um, release notes that we just read just now. I think I should install the driver first. So let's just do that. Okay, so install the driver. Let's see. Okay, some really old DOS looking like interface there. I hope it doesn't mess up the system. Okay, success. That's always a good thing. And update now. Okay, let's do that. Okay, you got a screen there. Rebooting, writing the data. The actual file data wasn't terribly big. Remember how big it was, but we might be able to look at that real quick. Um, it was about yeah, about one megabyte. Oh, that's there's a message here. Look at that. It says, "Do not connect the battery. Keep the power on and connection. System will restart um, after the update is completed." So, please wait for a moment almost done now. almost done now okay fan is coming up says update is successful that seems like a good thing okay I'm just going to close this and we'll go back to let's see what's new with that thing let me pull this out it's actually this cost about about seven dollars US maybe Okay, let's see what's new now that we've updated it. Um, um, yeah, it does sound different. Let's go now. Let's take a look at the. Um, no, I can't seem to get. There we go. Okay, the font looks a little different, I think. Not as bold. But let's check the system software. And there you go, it says 97 now. So we have the uh, upgrade successfully. And maybe a system self checking. Self test without error. Okay, well, it doesn't seem all that much different for me, but if you want to know how the uh, update looks like, this is. What it looks like. So there you go. All right. Bye, everybody.